Hey, Becca, I heard you're going to a fancy Italian restaurant soon. Hi, Amy. Yeah, that's right. Why do you ask? Sounds nice. I've always wanted a friend like you, someone who takes me out. Uh, okay. So I'll be joining you for that fancy Italian meal, too. Wait, what? How did we get to that? Well, it's only fair, right? If you're eating fancy Italian food, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't get any too, would it? What, what do you mean, fair? I don't get it. I mean, it would be weird if you got to eat it and I didn't, right? No, that's not weird at all. Why would you even say that? There's no way I'm treating you. You want to eat there? Go on your own. No way. It's expensive. The point is that it's great when someone else is paying. I'm not spending my own money. You know, you should try having a little common sense. I do have common sense. There's nothing cheaper than something free, right? It's not free. Stop assuming you're going to eat on my dime. Oh, come on. Just treat me once in a while. Actually, I've heard some stories about you. Apparently, you've been mooching off a lot of other moms, using their money to have fun. Now you're setting your sights on me. Oh, is that what they're saying about me? Well, whatever. Anyway, it's settled. I'll be eating that Italian on your tab. Thanks in advance. No, I'm not agreeing to that. Enough already. You're causing problems for the other moms too, and it's really the worst. No, you are the worst. I'm just trying to enjoy a nice meal here, and you're being so selfish. Excuse me? You're the one trying to score a free meal off someone else. How shameless can you be? Who are you calling shameless? You're insulting me now. Fine, I'm definitely getting that meal from you. Oh, is that so? Well, I've got my own plans for you. Later. I added about $2,000 worth of extras since the course menu wasn't enough. I'm sticking you with the bill for making fun of me, so get ready. Sure, I'll pay it, but you're going to regret this. I doubt it. Oh, you won't regret it? Good to know. By the way, my husband is actually the CEO of your husband's company. What? Your husband's the CEO? Yep. Seems like you didn't know that. N no of course I didn't. Why didn't you tell me sooner? It's not exactly something you just bring up. Saying, oh, by the way, my husband's the CEO out of nowhere. That would sound arrogant, don't you think? Well, well that doesn't matter. You're not going to do anything just because I ordered $2,000 worth of food, right? Oh, don't worry. I won't do anything to you directly. Oh, good. That's a relief. Yeah, you look pretty relieved. I said I won't do anything to you, but I can't say the same about your husband. What? Wait a minute. Why? Well, you did just order $2,000 worth of food without asking me. Plus, you brought three friends I didn't even know. Do you have any idea how much of a hassle you've been? I, I don't care about your inconvenience. Food tastes better when there's a crowd, right? Only when it's with people you actually like. If it's strangers, the food just tastes worse. Why are you being so harsh? I had a great time. The food was delicious. Maybe it's your taste buds that are messed up. No, my taste buds are just fine. You're the one who's completely oblivious to how you're acting. Oh, shut up. Just don't drag my husband into this, okay? Hmm, we'll see. By the way, I spoke to some other moms about you. You've done some pretty outrageous things, haven't you? Like making someone pay over $5,000? Ring a bell? But who cares? I don't even remember. They're the ones holding on to it too long. That's not my fault. Oh, come on. You can't just blow off using someone's money like it's nothing. Maybe you should learn to respect other people's finances. I don't care. I need money for myself, so what's wrong with that? You need money? For what? Well, I've got to spend a lot on myself. I buy only top quality clothes and makeup, and I go to the spa and yoga all the time. My husband's salary and my part-time job just don't cover it. That's why I need to use other people's money, right? You get it, don't you? Uh, no. I don't get it at all. You're spending that much? Maybe you should cut back. 
Stop relying on other people's money. Ugh, cutting back is such a pain. Why do you keep expecting me to pay? You should just help me out, like charity. Charity? Giving you money isn't charity. It's that kind of selfish thinking that got you into this mess. Whatever. Just don't mess with my husband. I'm not paying back that $2,000 either. Wow, you really don't think you've done anything wrong, do you? Maybe I should have my husband demote yours. Demote him? What for? That's too cruel. Well, your husband's been slacking off since he got promoted. My husband's been complaining. It was only a matter of time before he got demoted anyway. This just speeds things up. That's ridiculous. Being a leader means delegating your team and taking it easy. What's wrong with that? No, he's still in sales. He just got promoted because he had the top results for a while and was supposed to coach others. Instead, he stopped working altogether. Well, wait, but if he's a leader, isn't it natural to slack off a bit? No, it's not. You two really are a piece of work. Are you mocking me? You have no idea how hard I work every day. Really? What exactly are you working so hard at? Housework. I clean, do laundry, cook, everything. Yeah, that's what all housewives do every day. How dare you? I also work part-time. Doesn't that make me better than the other moms? Not really. Lots of moms work part-time. You're not special. You're just trying to show me up, aren't you? Stop trying to one-up me. You're the one who started bragging. Now you're playing the victim when I call you out? Shut up. I work harder than anyone. You're just being mean. Well, okay. Anyway, I just got a message from my husband. Your husband won't be demoted after all. Oh, really? Thank goodness. I knew it wouldn't happen. Yeah, he's being fired instead. But fired? Yep, he's out. But why? What did he do wrong? He's been slacking off and even dipping into company funds when his own money ran out. That sounds like nothing to you. Well, wait, my husband wouldn't do something like that. Maybe his co-workers made him do it. Are you serious? It's the only explanation. He wouldn't do anything so stupid on his own. I can't believe this. Well, anyway, his firing was inevitable. Too bad for you. No, if he gets fired, my life is over. Without his income, I won't be able to afford my luxury lifestyle. What about my brand name clothes and spa trips? You probably won't be able to afford any of that until your husband finds a new job. Even if he does, it'll likely be a low-paying, grueling job with long hours. N no, I can't. I absolutely refuse to live like that. Do something. What do you expect me to do? It's not like I'm the CEO or anything. Your husband made this mess, so maybe you should blame him. That That's it. The $2,000 you treated me to today, I'll give it back. Just help me out, please. Oh, I don't need that $2,000 anymore. Instead, do me a favor. Never show your face around our mom group again. If you do that, I'll forgive you. No way. If I do that, I'll lose my cash cows. I'm saving on groceries with all your money. I need it. So there's no way I'm leaving the mom group. You're the worst. Even now, you still don't get it. You seriously need to realize how selfish and crazy you sound. What? I'm not selfish. I'm perfectly sane. You're the crazy one for not helping me after all this. No, I'm the victim here. You're the one who caused all this, so why should I have to help you? This is a joke. What? what? Why am I the one getting treated like this? I'm clearly the victim here. You've treated me horribly. Oh, please. Stop spouting nonsense and give it up already. No, I'm the victim here. Later on. In the end, Amy's husband got fired and couldn't find another job. They lived without any income for a while. Even then, Amy couldn't give up her beauty treatments and yoga classes. Eventually, her husband asked for a divorce. After the divorce, Amy could no longer afford any of her expensive habits, and her life became so unstable that she had to start working part-time. You might occasionally spot her stocking shelves at the grocery store, looking pretty worn out. I guess that's what happens when you rely on other people's money for too long. As for me, 
I still enjoy the occasional fine Italian meal. Hey Clarissa, can you stop spreading baseless rumors? Baseless rumors? Darby, what on earth are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I know you're spreading rumors about me. Well, even if you say that, I have no idea. Actually, if you're the type of person who gets rumors spread about you, maybe it's your own fault for having such a nasty personality. How am I supposed to have a nasty personality? What exactly did I do? Oh, you did something. Remember when we bumped into each other at the grocery store the other day? Yeah, but we just ran into each other at the store. What's wrong with that? It's not that we met. I'm over here trying to save every cent. And you're tossing things into your cart without even checking the price. It's like you were trying to show off how rich you are, and it made me sick. You're saying all this because of something that small? Exactly. Of course I am. Honestly, you have this awful way of looking down on people without even realizing it. There's no way I'm taking someone like you on a trip. A trip? Are you talking about the mom friend trip this weekend? No way. I want to go on that trip too. No chance. A piece of trash like you should just stay at home alone. No way. I don't care what you say. I'm going on that trip too. I said no. Besides, didn't you know? Huh? Know what? The mom friend trip this time has a meeting time of 5 a.m. Can you even get up that early? Wait, 5 a.m.? Is that really the time? That's right. Why would I lie about that? Everyone's planning to go to bed around noon the day before to prepare for the 5 a.m. meetup. Really? I'm finding that hard to believe. What? You don't believe what I'm telling you? Yeah, sorry, but I really can't trust you. Considering how much you dislike me, I think there's a chance you're lying just to mess with me. What? You really don't trust me that much? That's just cruel. I apologize, but given your behavior up until now, I'm having a hard time trusting you. Fine. Just act like it's 5 a.m., okay? But if it turns out to be a lie, you'll be in big trouble. Sure, sure. Just be there at 5 a.m., all right? Got it. On the day of the trip. A 5 a.m. meetup? Seriously? You're such an idiot. The real meetup time is 1 p.m., so go sleep in the park for about eight hours. Uh, we've already left. What? I knew something was off, so I checked with the other moms, and they said the meeting time was at 1 p.m. What? Why did you have to confirm with everyone, you idiot? Well, it was just too suspicious. Plus, I could tell you hate me, and were trying to lie to cause me trouble. Of course. Why would I want to bring trash like you on a trip? Is that so? Well, in the end, I'm going on the trip and you're not. That's the result. Deal with it. What's with that attitude? And how are you already on your way? I haven't even started packing. When I asked the other moms, they said they're all fed up with you too. Apparently, you're always bad-mouthing people and causing drama with other mom groups. They said they just don't want you around anymore and that we should all cut you off. They said that? That can't be true. Oh, it's true. You may hate me, but everyone else seems to hate you. So that's how it ends. You'll have to accept it. No way. There's no way I can accept that. Go back and convince them to change their minds right now. That's impossible. We're about to hit the highway. If you're on the highway, just get off. How dumb are you? It would take time to turn around, and no one wants to waste their time, gas, and energy on someone we don't even want to be around. Would you do that if the roles were reversed? Of course not. That's ridiculous. Well, there you go. That's exactly how we feel. It's ridiculous to go back for you. How dare you say that? I'm part of this mom group, you know. I'm the one who's been getting along with everyone, and you think you can treat me like this? To be honest, I don't think anyone sees you as a friend. What? What do you mean by that? Frankly, you're just too selfish. You're the oldest among us. Yet you're always acting like it's all about you and causing trouble for everyone. Who would want to be around someone like that? How can you say such cruel things so easily? I would never say something like that. 
Actually, I think you've been saying those kinds of cruel things as naturally as breathing. Maybe it's time to really think about how you've been treating others. Shut up. Who do you think you are to speak to me like that? See, that right there? You just called me someone like you. That's pretty awful. Shut up. I'm allowed to talk like that because I'm better than the other moms. Better than everyone else? Who decided that? I did. I'm the queen of this mom group. You all have to listen to me. Got it? Oh, I get it now. You're just a horrible person. Everyone has already decided they never want to deal with you again. So don't bother showing your face in front of us anymore. How could you say something so cruel? I can't believe everyone is so discriminatory. Discriminatory? Where is that coming from? It's obvious, isn't it? You're all discriminating against me, hurting me, treating me like I'm nothing. You should all be treating me with more respect. That's what being a mom friend is about. I'm sorry, but that doesn't make any sense. You're the one who hasn't treated anyone with respect, and now you're acting like the victim? That's just ridiculous. If you had treated me with respect, I would have done the same for you. Can't you understand that? You're all just idiots. Wow, you really love to look down on people and attack them, don't you? I've never met anyone as terrible as you. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Take it back right now. No, I won't. You're the one who's in the wrong here. I'm not in the wrong. I've never done anything wrong. I'm the one who's being wronged. How can you possibly think that? Maybe you should take a look at yourself for once. What do you mean, look at myself? I know exactly who I am. I'm the cute, adored mom friend who's loved by everyone and gets to go on trips with them. Well, you have absolutely no self-awareness. I never met someone this clueless. Clueless? How dare you say that? I'm the smartest one in this mom group, smarter than all of you. That's why you all have to treat me with respect. Understand? I don't get it at all. In fact, we already have an answer, don't we? Nobody wants to be friends with you, and they don't want you coming on this trip. That's game over. Game over? What nonsense are you talking about? If I stop hanging out with you all, the only people I'll be left with are my own family. Well, that's fine, isn't it? You should consider yourself lucky you still have people around who care about you. Lucky? How could I possibly feel lucky? I rely on mom friends to chat with, to blow off steam. Oh, really? Well, you're the one who threw all that away. No one else did this to you. It's your own fault, so maybe you should stop blaming everyone else. Anyway, it's not my problem anymore. We're done here. Done? Don't say such awful things. I'm still going to keep hanging out with you all. I fully intend to stay involved. I'm sorry, but we don't feel the same way. So from now on, please don't talk to us if you see us around. No way. Why am I being treated like this? It's completely unfair. Later. Even during the trip, Clarissa kept messaging us, so we finally got fed up and blocked her. Afterward, we had a fantastic time on the trip. And when we got back, we all made sure to completely ignore her. Even when she tried to force her way back into the group, we just kept on ignoring her until she gave up. I don't know what she's doing now, but I've heard she's lost all her friends and is just holed up at home. She brought it all on herself. By the way, we still go on mom trips regularly, and they're way more fun without Clarissa around. Hey, Emma. I've heard she's been really hard on your daughter Liz lately. Isn't it a bit harsh to yell at Liz in public? Doesn't that seem a little cruel? Oh, Faye, why do I have to hear this from someone like you, a complete stranger? Well, I'm still a mom friend. I care about kids, and I can't stand seeing someone treat their child poorly like you do. Oh, that's just your opinion, and it doesn't change what I choose to do. I'm telling you to stop. Also, didn't you boast about not feeding Liz for an entire day, like it was some kind of achievement? Oh, yes I did. Liz wouldn't listen no matter what she was told, so I made her understand as a punishment. How can you be so cruel? Liz isn't your tool. 
You should feel sorry for her. No, I don't. She's my child, and I can handle her however I want. Don't be ridiculous. Liz, like any child, has rights. Not feeding her properly could lead to neglect. Come on, neglect is a bit of an exaggeration. I take good care of her. I just didn't feed her for one day, but I feed her on other days, either lunch or dinner. How can you think that's good parenting? It's actually quite interesting. Liz's face when I gave her her dinner after she hadn't eaten all day, it's like she's starving. It's fascinating how someone can fall so low. That's disgusting. You don't deserve to be a parent. What did you say? Can you stop interfering with other people's ways? I haven't committed any crime. It's practically a crime. It's almost an act of abuse toward a child. Oh, so now you're a legal expert. You're not a police officer or a lawyer. It's embarrassing to speak with such shallow knowledge. Sure, my knowledge may be limited, but unlike you, I'm confident that I haven't committed any crimes. Well, well, it doesn't matter. I need to go out for a bit, so could you watch Liz for about two hours? Two hours? Fine, but I won't accept it if you're lying. I'm not lying. Don't worry. The next day, that two hours was a lie. You've been deceived. My husband and I are enjoying a week-long vacation in Hawaii, so take care of Liz while we're gone. I've already sent Liz back home. What? So, it was a lie after all. I figured you were planning something, but I didn't expect you to be gone for an entire week. Hold on. If you know that, why did you send Liz home? She'll be alone now. After treating Liz so badly, are you suddenly worried about her being alone? Of course. If she tears up the house while I'm away, it'll be a nightmare when I get back. So, you're more worried about the state of the house than about Liz? Well, yeah. A child left alone is like a wild animal. You never know what they'll do. I can't believe you're so disrespectful towards your own child. But don't worry. Liz won't be left alone. What do you mean? Are you going to take care of her? Of course not. Liz seems to always wear a nameplate when she goes out. Oh, I remember her attaching that to herself. You didn't put it on her? Well, someone without any sense of crisis like you wouldn't bother with that. That's irrelevant. So what? The nameplate has your home address and contact information on it. Ah, I see. That's useful if she gets lost. But that's not all that's written on the nameplate. It also has her grandparents' address and contact details. Her grandparents? They probably have the same last name, so they're probably your in-laws. I've contacted them and asked them to look after Liz for the week. What? What have you done? It's your fault. If you hadn't left for Hawaii without Liz, this wouldn't have happened. That doesn't mean you can go beyond the boundaries of what a stranger should do. This is a crime. Really? What crime is helping Liz not being left alone? Can you tell me what crime that is? Well, since you handed her over without permission, it's kidnapping. Kidnapping? This is kidnapping? You are the one who handed her over. I didn't know that. What? If I say it's kidnapping, then it is. So you're a criminal. It's ridiculous that you, who are practically abandoning your child, call me a criminal with no shame. Shut up and try to understand my feelings a little. Oh, your feelings? With Liz around, I can't travel freely. My actions are restricted, and you have no idea how much stress I've been under these past few years. Don't you understand? As soon as you become a parent, you're restricted, and it's frustrating. Plus, small kids are noisy and tend to cry whenever you take them. It's just a nuisance. If that's all you can think about, you shouldn't have become a parent. What are you talking about? I'm not saying you have to love a crying child. But being a parent means fulfilling your responsibilities. It's natural to put your desires aside once you become a parent. If you really need to do something, it's normal to rely on your family or in-laws. Don't use vague words like normal. If I rely on my family, they might find out how poorly I'm treating Liz. That's why I didn't want to ask for help. So that's your true feeling? You're treating Liz badly? Maybe you're not mature enough to be a parent. What did you say? 
That's an insult. Who's immature? Do you really think a child can raise a child? It's like you've just created a child as your possession without any result. What? You keep hitting the nail on the head. Of course, the child I gave birth to is my possession. What's wrong with that? It's wrong from the start. Liz is a person with feelings and freedom. Ignoring that and prioritizing only what you want is childish behavior. Shut up. If Liz has rights, so do I. Think a bit about my freedom. Why do you always prioritize your own claims? It's a small child. Can't you just put yourself aside a little? Of course not. I have my own pleasures. In fact, I'd like to be praised for how well I've managed so far. I didn't realize you were this selfish. Also, I noticed bruises on Liz's body. Could it be? Oh well, it couldn't be helped. No matter how much I told her to stop crying and asking for food. If she didn't understand by words, I had to make her understand physically. I didn't realize she could be that cruel. I've informed her grandparents about this. Wait a minute, is this a joke? Why are you doing this all on your own? She's not your child. True, she's not my child, but all children are deserving of protection. If they're being treated badly, anyone should try to protect them. I'm her parent, so I say stop. Don't do things on your own. It's too late. You've been too cruel to Liz. Her grandparents will probably contact Child Protective Services. What is Child Protective Services? Child Protective Services is where they separate children from their parents. If there's physical abuse or other severe mistreatment. What? If that happens, I'll lose my stress relief too. So you see Liz as stress relief too? It's a good thing you left her with her grandparents. After being temporarily protected by the agency, her grandparents will probably raise her until she's an adult. They're still 60 and have plenty of savings, so they said they can take care of Liz until she's grown up. Are you serious? She's going to be taken away from me? There's no way Liz would do something so foolish. It's your fault for doing everything on your own. This would have happened sooner or later. You just handed her over to me, which sped up the process. This is absurd. It's absolutely wrong for me to be in this situation. Go and get Liz back from those old people right now. How can you refer to your own mother-in-law as old hags? Anyone who takes away my property deserves to be called that. Oh really? In that case, I'll go directly to them. I'll tell them not to take someone's daughter without permission. But honestly, after what you've done to Liz, I don't think you deserve to be a parent again. What did you say? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Do you have any idea what I've been through? I'm going to continue using Liz as a stress relief tool, and I'll make you a stress relief tool too. Oh, is that so? If you're going to say things like that, then I'll take my own measures. Measures? What's that supposed to mean? I'm going to tell the other moms that you're the worst mom ever for what you've done to Liz. I'm sure they'll all despise you and avoid you. Wait, stop. If I lose all my mom friends and Liz is gone, I won't have anyone to interact with. Well, that's your problem. After everything you've done, that's the least punishment you deserve. I haven't done anything wrong. Don't just label me as the perpetrator. If you're not the perpetrator, then who is? No matter how much you try to justify yourself, it's useless. You are the perpetrator. The facts won't change. How did it come to this? I just wanted to go on a carefree trip to Hawaii. Maybe, if you had taken Liz with you to Hawaii, this wouldn't have happened. Take Liz to Hawaii? Are you kidding? She wouldn't even handle a plane ride. Liz was incredibly calm with me. Maybe she only acted out in front of you because she was spoiled by you. She was spoiled. Even if it's bad, I'm her mother, aren't I? She just wanted attention. You should be ashamed for treating her like a stress relief tool without understanding that. That's ridiculous. There's no way Liz thought like that. You're just making me look like the only bad person here. I won't accept that. Later, Emma's in-laws contacted Child Protective Services and had Liz temporarily placed in their care. After returning from Hawaii, it seems the Child Protective Services decided that Emma, 
couldn't live with Liz, so Liz ended up living with her grandparents. Emma subsequently lost all connections with other mom friends and now isolates herself at home. I visit Liz occasionally. She's completely recovered from the bruises and looks healthier than before, which reassures me each time I see her. I pray she will never face such terrible things again.